Trump declares WikiLeaks operation perfectly legal. President Trump has declared that WikiLeaks is completely a uh, legal operation, inherently protected by the First Amendment. Attorneys for Trump's 2016 campaign claim that WikiLeaks is shielded from liability since the leaked documents they publish concern newsworthy and public issues. Inquisitor.com reports this is in relation to the lawsuit filed against the Trump campaign and on behalf of two Democratic donors and a former DNC staffer who claims to be personally affected by the leaks. As it is known to the public, the federal authorities are currently investigating the possibility of a Russia collusion, as the media often puts it. According to the lawsuit, the leak also exposes personal data apart from the information about Hillary Clinton's campaign. It's important to note that according to the Trump campaign, this is a cause about the publication of the emails rather than about their acquisition. Furthermore, the president's uh, legal team argues that WikiLeaks is merely a platform on which third parties get to publish content. The Russians have denied their involvement in the United States presidential election of the 2016 numerous times. The U.S. Department of Justice began investigating the founder of WikiLeaks, Julian Assange, as well as his platform back in 2010. Today, members of Trump, uh, Trump's administration, such as the CIA director Mike Pompeo, have openly criticized Assange's organization, even stating that it should be shut down. You wonder why, huh? You wonder why they want to shut, the CIA wants to shut them down. You wonder why? So the people won't know the real truth. Is WikiLeaks protected by the Communications Decency Act 47 USC code or 230? Trump lawyers argue it. It's impossible to blog about Section 230 without reminding you that it remains highly Im imperiled. Uh, okay, Trump's lawyers claim that the WikiLeaks is prote WikiLeaks is protected by the Communications Decency Act. To be more precise, the organization qualifies for immunity of the Act, Section 230. The president's lawyers claim. Obviously, the federal court will determine whether Le WikiLeaks qualifies or not. But here's the main argument in Trump's campaign motion to dismiss as written by the president's legal team. Under Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act, a website that provides a forum where third parties can post information is not liable for the third parties posted information. Clayman versus Zuckerberg, 753, that goes on to the numbers of the legal terminology. That is, so even when even when the websites, uh, sub website performs editorial functions such as deciding whether to publish ID at 1359, since WikiLeaks provided a forum for a third party, the unnamed, quote, Russian actors, to publish content developed by that third party, the hacked emails, it can not be held liable for the publication. Julian Assange has already tweeted about this and let the people know what he thinks, but what's perhaps even more interesting is the fact that Mr. Donald Trump himself, President Donald Trump himself, quite openly praised the website for publishing the leaked DNC emails, although some members of his administration disagree. Yeah, that's the swamp there. The DNC scandal is in its final stages, that's true. The lawsuit was filed in July this year, so it remains to be seen how this entire saga will end. WikiLeaks is a godsend. That's what WikiLeaks is, and Trump happens to like WikiLeaks. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and again, thank you so much for watching.